Okay, so on these problems, pretty much all these problems, we want to start off with factoring. So that first numerator, I can factor out of 2a squared from both. When I pull that out of the first term, I'm left with a squared. Out of the second term, when I divide it by 3a squared, I'm left with a 4. a squared plus 4 does not factor any further. So that one's done. In the denominator, looking for two numbers that multiply to 4, add to negative 4, it's negative 2 and negative 2. I could have also written a minus 2 squared. Up here, I actually have two factoring to do. I know I can pull a 4 out first, leaving me with a squared minus 4. But a squared minus 4 will factor again to a plus 2 and a minus 2. The difference of two squares. In the denominator, I can factor out a 6 and an a squared. Oh, sorry, not an a squared, a cubed. To pull it out of the first one, I'm left with a squared and plus four. That does not factor. But now I can look to cancel out common factors. For example, a plus fours, a squared plus four rather, cancel out. A minus two, a minus two cancels out. Um, the a plus two and a minus two are different, so they don't. A squared can cancel out, making a cubed just an a. Three and six can simplify. Three becomes a one, six becomes a two, but then I have four over two and that can simplify. So the two goes away, turning the four into a two. So all that's left in the numerator is two times a plus two. In the denominator, I had an a, then I have an a minus. Number two, start factoring. Oops, I don't know why I wrote a, it was an x. x plus three, x minus five. x minus two, x minus three. x plus six, x minus two. x plus 5x minus 1. So now we go to cancel anything that we have in common top and bottom. I see an x minus 2 that can cancel. And it looks like that's all. Everything else is unique. So in the numerator, you leave x plus 3 times x minus 5 times x plus 6. And in the denominator, I leave x minus 3 x plus 5, and x minus 1. Number 3. I can factor a 3 out of the first numerator, leaving me with z plus 2. Um, I'm going to guess, this is the lead coefficient. I could be wrong here in my first guess, but I'm going to try... 2z and 2z, because I know if they have to multiply to 4z squared. The last numbers have to multiply to 3, so I'll try 1 and a 3. That would give me a 6z and a 2z, so I want the 6 to be negative. Yes, okay, so it factors just like so. It was a division problem, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, so I'm going to flip that fraction. What was the numerator goes to the denominator, z plus 2 and z plus 1. What was in the denominator goes to the numerator, 2z plus 1, z plus 1. Now I look for common factors. 2z plus 1s can cancel. z plus 2s can cancel. And I believe, oh, so z plus 1s also over there. So we're left with 3 over 2z minus 3. The next problem, I can factor out a 4a from that first numerator, leaving me with a minus 3. And its denominator factors to 
a plus 2a minus 3. It's divided, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, so I'm going to flip that bottom fraction. So on the top, I'm going to have a plus 2 and a plus 1. In the bottom, I can factor out a 6a squared, leaving me with a plus 1. I can start canceling common factors. A plus 1s cancel. A plus 2s cancel. A minus 3s cancel. And A can cancel. 4 over 6 simplifies to 2 over 3. So I'm left now with 2 over 3A. Then we get into the addition and subtraction problems. We have to have a common denominator. First, make sure each denominator is factored. In this one, they're both factored completely. I can't factor them. So for my least common denominator, I have to include both of those factors. I have to include an A plus 2 and an A plus 4. So I need to turn both of those fractions, uh, or change both those fractions so that they have the least common denominator. So the first problem. I didn't have an a plus 4, so I have to multiply that into the numerator. The second fraction, it had the a plus 4, but it didn't have the a plus 2, so I have to multiply that in. In both of those numerators, I will distribute, because I will have to add them together. So 2a plus 8 was the first numerator. 3a plus 6 becomes the second numerator. Combine those together. 5a plus 14 over the common denominator. Oops. Number six, those denominators are not factored. I need to factor them first. A plus three, A minus one for the first fraction. A minus 1, A minus 2 for the second fraction. So the least common denominator has to contain an A plus 3, an A minus 1, and an A minus 2. I have to have all of those pieces. The first fraction... What didn't have the a minus 2, I had to multiply it in, so I had to multiply it into the numerator. The second fraction didn't have the a plus 3, so I have to multiply it in there. Let's distribute. So 3a minus 6. The second one becomes 2a plus 6. And then it is a subtraction problem. So subtract now. 3a minus 2a is a. Negative 6 minus 6 is negative 12. over my least common denominator. Well, I'm not going I'm going to keep going. I am videoing this, so if you want to go back and look at any of them later, um, you can look at the video. It's not a problem. I want to get as far as I can here. Number seven. Both of those denominators are factored. So my least common denominator will contain both of those. So the first fraction, I already had the extra did not have the x minus 8, so I have to multiply that into the numerator also. The second fraction had the x minus 8, did not have the x plus 7. Distribute each of those cases. And now they're adding. So 7x plus 4 over my least common denominator. Number eight, the first fraction we can factor a two out. Second fraction I can factor a two out. 
my least common denominator then has to include a two, an n plus three and an n plus two. First fraction was missing the n plus two piece. Second fraction was missing the n plus three piece. Distribute five n plus 10. Distribute three n plus nine. Subtract five minus three n is two n, 10 minus nine is one. Question number nine. I'm going to focus on the numerator there first. Need a common denominator. When you combine those together into one fraction, you get 5x minus 1 over x plus 1 times x minus 2. It was a division problem, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, x plus 1 over 5x minus 1. 5x minus 1's cancel, x plus 1's cancel. We have a numerator of 1. Our denominator is x minus 2. All right, I'll stop the video there for the first page.